Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I had an idea and I went out and I picked up some parts. Um, I did a video the other day about the new Lego globe. Um, so I, I wanted to do a little upgrade on the globe, but it turns out to be one of those things where it sounds like a good idea when you first come up with it, but then when you actually put it into action, like maybe not. I'm gonna show you guys what I did and you let me know if you can think of some ways that I can correct it, make it look better. All right, take a look at this. So here's the globe. Um, it's a great display piece and you can come up to it and basically spin it around on its axis. I thought, what if I didn't have to do that? So here's what I did. So you can see there that I attached one of the uh, Lego media motors to it. Here's what it does. So that speed is 30, but I'm just not a fan of the cord running in front. Uh, maybe if I put the cord in back, but the little brick over there that actually turns it, it seems to spin with it. I have to do a little more research on that but it looks cool spinning on its own without you standing there having to spin it. It just looks so clunky at the bottom. It was a good idea, but I might have to power up something else. I just really did not like that. I'll show you guys what pieces I got and how simple it was to install, but I don't think I'm gonna be keeping it um, connected to the power up bricks. I just wanted to give you guys some ideas of what you could do with your globe. I think for now, my globe is just gonna be displayed on its own. If we wanna see it spin, we'll manually spin it from the top axis. Thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.